Okay? Thanks for letting me work with you today. You're a good guy. You're getting a little gray like me. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm gonna hold hands for a second now. So we have Lucas here today. And Lucas, hi, Lucas, how are you? Lucas is eight years old. He's part lab. He's a rescue dog from the North Shore Animal League. That's correct. And um, he's been with the family since he was how old? Three months. Yeah, since, and um, he's just a good guy. Now he had an injury about a year ago where this top part on the horse, we call it the withers, which is T3 through T8. Um, in that area, there's seven cervical bones and 13 thoracics and then seven lumbars on a dog. Um, we have uh, seven cervicals, 12 thoracics and five lumbars. Now there are anomalies or instances where a human might have six, but for the most part that's true. Interesting is a giraffe only has seven bones on their neck, um, but they're just much taller bones. You would think a giraffe has like 40 bones in its neck, but they don't, they just have seven. But anyway, somewhere between, we're gonna look for it next, but somewhere between T3 and T8, Lucas injured that about a year ago, got some x-rays, it didn't show any fracture, did it? No. No, but maybe a disc yeah, injury, herniated disc, herniated disc. Yes. okay. And on top of that, he would wince, he was in a lot of pain, uh, and then it eventually healed. He wouldn't jump, Yeah. right, his movement was He limited. stopped jumping, he stopped, uh, what else did you used to do? Chase cars? No. <laughs> All right, so he's a nice guy, and we're just gonna look at him. Do you notice he's turning gray like me? I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm a little gray, and he's a little gray in his face. Okay, I have more gray than you. So Lucas, what do you think? Can I work on you today? Do I have permission? Okay, do you wanna say yes or no? All right, may I work on you today? Okay, let's get started. All right, let me come in this way and feel what his atlas feels like. So what I'm doing is I'm going between the wings of the atlas and the occiput, and also I'm feeling even near the angle of the, the ramus, which is the part of the jaw that comes up close to the wings of the atlas. And on the left side, there's a nice spacing. On the right side, it's a little tight, so I might adjust that. Let's see, can you move just a little bit? Ooh, ooh. Got a little bite from you almost. Did you bite me? Okay. Can I adjust your atlas without you biting me? He went after me. Okay. All right. What do you think? Maybe we shouldn't start with your atlas. It's just too, too vulnerable, right? But here I'm. Here I am. Here. Ooh. Where's Daddy? So I might have you. Can you be off camera and just your hands in the sure. shot? Okay. So you're gonna hold. You're gonna hold him like a collar around his neck. And I'm going to go in. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because he probably doesn't want me touching him. And so really, you're going to hold, hold him like a collar. Yeah, like this. There you go. Good. And I'm going to come down. So I'm going to see if I can find the bone that he injured. And I think it's here at T4. No, it isn't. It's higher. It's T3. So I'm going to adjust T3. So I'm going to get this for you now. Is that okay, bub? Okay, one. I'm going to put my hand underneath for stabilization. Two, three. I actually made a little click noise. Do you hear it? It's like a little... Wow. All right, good. Coming down the back. I'm in the mid-thoracics. Okay. Now I'm down at T10. I'm going to adjust that next. It's slightly high on the left, so there's a little bit of a rotational component. May I get this one for you, Lucas? Okay, we're going to do it now. Got it. I felt that one slip right in. Down into the lumbars now. There's a little bit here at L2. A lot of stuff on the left. So now I'm going to come in. I'm going to double up. And tension and got it. Now the sacrum.
I'm on the sacral base posterior. Got it. All right. And I do want to get the right atlas. So keep your hands there. I'm going to reach over. And it's right in here. And I'm going to flex this head a little bit towards your leg. Yeah. Got it. Oh, you could hear that one click, yeah. did you? Yeah. All right. Let me go back and check that T3 to through T8, because he might have had more than one spot there. So there's T3. That one went back in. It was sticking a little posterior. And there's one just below it here. I'm going to have you touch this one. Here. Do you feel that right in there? So that's just a rough spot. Yeah, it's that. like a tight muscle. Yeah. So I'm going to first, I'm going to rub it for a little while. I'm going to hold that muscle knot. So I'm... Right now I'm at T4, slightly left of center. There's an unequal muscle knot on the left that I don't find on the right. It almost feels a little grizzly, like a rawhide or beef jerky. And I'm just gonna keep working it. Let's see if I'll take a breath. So we're gonna, everybody take a breath. Big breath in. Let's do another. Now I'm gonna just hold. Hold it rather than roll it in my finger. And it's actually might not even need to be adjusted. Let me do a little bit of an adjustment. So I'm gonna push up on his chest so I have stabilization and got it. So that was out too. So in a second I'll have him walk around, see if he shakes it out. He doesn't have to, but that he might reset with a shake. Now I have him under the table, I have him next to his dad. Um, and the thing is, is that sometimes you just have to go to where they are. He didn't want to really be out with me alone in front of the camera. And, and now he's starting to relax a little bit. So here, look at his little face now. And he's really cute, that's a cute dog. So let's invite him to get up, see if he wants to shake that out and integrate it a little bit. So come on over here, go, go, come on. Here, you don't even have to come to me. Just get up. Come on. Give him a second. See what he does. But he's moving well, right? Yeah. Go. Lucas. Hi, Lucas. He's moving well. He's got a good top line. Yeah. That top line is that profile of their top part of their back and their neck. He wasn't hunched over and he's in a good little space. He doesn't have to shake it out. Some dogs do, but he's <laughs> relaxing. He seems relaxed. All right, and put the camera back on me. Let me just close some thoughts here. I mean, come in close. Maybe he'll let me be next to him. Watch, he'll bite me as soon as I get my face at his level. So. Okay, thanks for letting me work with you today. You're a good guy. You're getting a little gray like me. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna hold hands for a second, not really. But this is good for everybody to see because you're gonna see sometimes I work with a dog that just wants to kiss me and cuddle with me and all that. And sometimes dogs are a little scared. I never met Lucas before. And you know, he's checking me out and he wants to be more with his dad than with me. But I also felt determined that there were a few spots that were worth working on, like going back and revisiting where his herniated disc was in his upper thoracics. I found those spots, there were actually two. One was really bad, not really bad, but that was the one that he probably really injured. And then he had a minor um, area just below that, a T4. And so the discs between T3 and T4 were still irritated and, um, and also not gliding nicely. It was kind of stuck or fixated. So in the ability to release that, you give the dog a little more ease, uh, you have less of a chance of re reoccurrence. So that means like the next time he jumps off the couch is, is that same spot gonna misalign and subluxate again. Subluxation is a chiropractic term where two bones misalign next to each other, like adjacent bones, such that they interfere with the nerve flow that comes through the spinal cord and out to the every little part and cell of the body. And so it's really nice to remove those nerve interferences, line up the bones, let it flow, and let, let the um, animal or person be stress-free. 
So there we go. We have a stress-free Lucas right now. And we're all going to take a nap as you say goodbye. But, you know, maybe just leave Lucas a comment falling asleep. I'm going to sleep. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thanks for letting me work with you today. You're a good guy. You're getting a little gray like me. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm going to hold hands for a second. Not really.